threats. And since the storm touched down in San Diego County, some mountain and desert communities have already received more than a half of an average year's worth of rain in a single day. And the storm has caused major delays at several airports across the Bay Area. Crown Force Charles Clifford joins us now live from San Francisco International Airport with more. Have all those delays and cancellations been resolved for this afternoon? Or are they still ongoing, Charles? Well, there's about a dozen cancellations so far today here at SFO. That's a huge improvement from yesterday. Uh, but even though things are getting better here, there's still a lot of people trying to get to Southern California. On Monday morning, flights into and out of SFO were getting back on track after the airport saw more than 60 delays and 160 cancellations this past weekend. But there are still passengers struggling to reach their destinations. A lot of frustration, yes. Reese Mendez is trying to get home to L.A. He was supposed to fly out on Sunday. My flight got delayed twice. It got changed. And then from there right now, I'm actually going to go home right now today. But hopefully it doesn't change. But everything, the storm was windy, really windy. Uh, a lot of rain. I would say a lot of rain and the forecast. I wasn't expecting for like flights to get changed and stuff like that. Even though the situation here at SFO has improved on Monday, FlightAware.com says that there are still a dozen flight cancellations and 66 flight delays. There are 24 cancellations and 34 delays in San Jose, and the Oakland airport is seeing 26 cancellations and 22 delays on Monday. All right, back live now. If you're planning on flying in the next couple of days, especially if you're going to Southern California or Las Vegas, be sure to check ahead with your airline. Make sure everything is on time and going okay. But for now, at SFO, Charles Clifford, Cron 4 News.